Hello, and welcome to Tabletop Terrors. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen any of you uh, for a little while. My name is James. Of course, I'm not joined today by Tim and Jeff, but um, uh, I wanted to make a video and, and uh, talk to you guys about some things. Um, I spent a lot of time today thinking about the channel, the YouTube channel, you know, back from when we started. I mean, that was, I always say five years, and that, I mean, it must have been five years now, three years ago. I, I'm really bad about that, but um, if it weren't for Tim, I don't think I ever really would have ever sat in front of a camera and tried to make YouTube videos. Um, it's funny how hard it was at the beginning as far as uh, uh, from a standpoint of, you know, like getting everything set up and getting everything working and, and a camera. You know, we didn't have webcams or maybe we did, but that wasn't good enough. You know, our, our um, standards were so high, but it's funny saying standards are high. The first few videos uh, we filmed, some of you may know Tim's first video or like one of the first was Progress Over Perfection. Right, the point that you need to start doing something before you uh, perfect it. You know, you perfect it in doing it. Let's uh, say, and so the jankiness of our original setup, I mean, could not be overstated. Like when he first was like, "Hey, there's this thing called YouTube, and I want to jump on there and I want to make videos." I was like, uh, "Okay." And so we went into his uh, office that was upstairs at his townhouse, and it was so hot in there. Uh, the air would run, but it just—I don't know—it was a bad spot for a room, I guess. The sun was right on it, but um, we strung a sheet you know, across two microphone stands and like sat in front of it and kind of filmed some videos. And it you couldn't really tell, but we were sitting on the ground with like our legs all the way out. It was very interesting. Um, and in that same townhouse, we moved into the garage. You know, we filmed videos in there. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, uh, we It was like very echoey and we had my camera set up and I got a microphone and stuff. Um, uh, someone said I looked like Chris Pratt at that point, and obviously it's been a long, slow downhill trend from there. This was like, I think when Galaxy uh, Guardians of the Galaxy trailers were coming out, and he had just been seen in Parks and Rec, and now it was like, oh my gosh, he got fit and stuff. And um, yeah, I don't look like, like Chris Pratt anymore, as you can tell by this video, but uh, hey, here we are. <laughs> um, I remember when we tried to do a bunch of different shows on the channel, you know? I don't know if uh, how much you guys remember that, but, like, um, Area of Effect is, like, the main one I remember. It's funny, I'm having, like, such a hard time remembering what the other ones were. But um, we had, like, five different, like, segments, and we sat for, for a while, you know? Like, we we sat... I think we wanted... I want to say we spent one, two, three Sundays on this. You know, we would get together for three hours. I would go to his house at this point. And so I would drive to his house, and I sat on his computer... And we worked on like, oh, what will the graphics be, you know, for the for the videos we're going to make. Area of effect. We got to make all the little titles and everything. It's got to be really well produced. Um, and then we went to go film that area of effect, you know, and we literally couldn't sit down and find a place to do it. All that trouble fiddling with all the stuff. And we sat in his room in front of his dresser, you know, and that didn't really work because then the air kicked on. And we tried to sit out front because that was kind of nice. But um, it the camera didn't pick it up really well. And we drove down to... Uh, a park near Tim's house to try to get footage, you know, and it was like, I didn't realize it at the time, but that day was so, it was the middle of the day, you know, we'd film from like three to six. So, um, a little after the heat, heat height of the day. Right. But if we went out there at four, the sun is right above you, not looking very good. So we're trying to like film a video. I've got my tripod out there and like two guys trying to film RPG videos, you know, um, we, I, I kind of forgot that came first, but then we later upgraded, so to speak, or switched to, I said, not really. Basically, uh, we would go, I moved into an apartment, I moved out of Tim's house, he had a daughter, you know, Evie, that was, um, it's interesting, she was a big part of the drive of getting a lot of this going, because he needed more income, because he had a kid, you know, um, but so, what we started doing is filming uh, videos on our phone, you know, or really his phone, you know, we would film a video, we would go get energy drinks, so he'd come to my house, uh, where I lived in an apartment, and, you know, he'd go, we'd drive to the 7-Eleven, we'd get some energy drinks, and on the way home, and like, in the car, I think. It's funny, it's been so long. Those videos are still up. Um, uh, we, you know, we would talk and film a video. Barker did one once. He, he jumped in one time because he was visiting us, uh, you know. Um, so, yeah, but we just... I didn't realize how much we were hanging out and, like, doing YouTube a little bit, but also, uh, you know, like... I don't know. We, we... Tim put a lot of effort into finding out stuff about YouTube, and if you look at any of, like, the the thumbnails, that's all Tim, you know, he knew that was very important and what the, the titles have to be and, and everything, you know, he worked really hard at the YouTube aspect, but we didn't, I don't know, we, we didn't spend a ton of time figuring out what topics to film, we just like, we're like, oh, we could talk about this, we could talk about that, you know, and I'm sure we rambled more than we needed to, and, you know, uh, it, it's no surprise, I guess, that some of our best videos, the how to play D&D, &D, you know, was the most, like, scripted and slowed down 
and potentially, you know, some of the best content we made or the stuff people like the most. But all that to say, uh, Tim and I, you know, throughout the, the process of having the YouTube channel, you know, every Sunday, right? It's like another job. Sometimes I didn't want to do it. You know, we eventually switched to every other Sunday. But we talked about, like, getting on a treadmill, you know, and, like, we realized we could make some videos, but then you just made more videos and you made more, you know, especially if you're doing it for ad revenue, it's like, okay, well, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? You know, um, we did of course start a publishing company called absolute tabletop, me, Tim and Matt click and, and Barker from, uh, be a better game master at that time. You know, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh man. That's just like so ingrained in my head to say it that way. You know, Matt click from a fistful of dice Barker from be a better game master. Um, but, uh, we started Abtab, you know, absolute tabletop. And I feel like the, the, I, not frustration, but like the feelings I was feeling about tabletop terrors at the time of like, hey, where is this going? Kind of got funneled into Abtab. Um, and that was really cool. You know, I had like a lot of pent up energy and effort inside of me trying to get out. And I totally got to pour it into that, you know, um, because we were four guys saying, OK, we want to make something ha happen. How do we make something happen? And it was so much fun. I love so much getting to try and figure that out, answer that question. How are we going to make this happen? You know, Um so that was really cool for a little while. Uh, as some of you may know, I recently announced my departure from Abtap, you know, Absolute Tabletop, um, for sort of totally unrelated circumstantial reasons too. It's, it's my departure, or like I have also departed from Tabletop Terrors, which really was to say that at a time, it's like I, I stopped saying, hey, I'm going to do that every Sunday because I started trying to look closer at how I was spending my time and what I was doing with it, you know? Um, and... Yeah, uh, yeah. So, but in thinking about, like, all of what I would say, I realized how much I took the audience, you know, all of you listening, all of you watching throughout everything, you know, all of our different phases and, and, and uh, relaunches and, and whatever, you know. Um, not in, like, every way. I feel like I, I gained some really amazing interactions. We had some really cool stuff, you know, in live streams or on discords, if you guys jumped in the AbTab discord, you know. Um, but I, I don't feel like I thought about the audience or who was listening when we sat down to film videos, you know. I don't think I thought about that enough and it's like i almost feel a little guilty about that where yeah yeah it, it, it basically it's like having an audience and and taking it for granted you know there's definitely some guilt there but um yeah so overall i definitely just wanted to thank everybody you know for everything this this isn't like tabletop terror is going away um absolute tabletop is still definitely a thing i'm sure at some point tim will you know continue making videos maybe with jeff i don't really know uh but i wanted to come and you know i don't know sort of just get to talk to everybody about about the the channel and 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 my you know departure so to speak and maybe some of the new things i'm doing but um yeah like i said really in in part to almost apologize for not you know we i loved responding to comments and i love when people would comment but it, it was more like i don't know i i feel like we could have been closer if if that uh, sounds funny so basically um i wanted to say i i am definitely starting something new though with all of that in mind you know um, I'm still working on exactly what it's going to be, what the content will be. <clears throat> but one of the main things I know is I'm going to try really hard not to put any ads on it. I don't want any ads on it. I think, um, I do plan on doing like a community sport aspect, like Patreon, what we did for Tabletop Terrors. What I gained from that for myself was great, but I, I, I definitely want to give that another shot. Um, so, but regardless of that, you know, I, I want a channel where, people can connect and there's really cool, fun content and people can comment and, you know, it doesn't have to get thousands or millions of views or anything, but, um, yeah, I think it'd be really cool. So the new channel is called PQU, um, the, the three letters, you know, and I want it to be sort of all about the way I see the world. Um, I want to show how like these invisible rules kind of and nudges and cues lead us through our lives unconsciously. You know, I want to look at my favorite books and movies and TV shows and talk about what I love about them. What makes a TV show funny? You know, what, what makes the new Metallica album so hard to accept and then so easy to fall into? I want to talk about that, you know, and I want to find people that, that want to hear about it and, and also want to talk about it. Um, I also plan to host a game show. I think that'll be really cool. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've just been thinking about the channel a lot today, you know, getting a little choked up. I, I was, I'm not surprised by that. But uh, again, I want to say thank you. I, I, plan on staying in the RPG sphere for sure. You know, I'll always be creating games, talking about games, playing games. Um, yeah. So if you, if you want to follow me, you know, come over there. The channel's called PQU. You can find some, uh, uh, links in the description, um, you know, to get over there, but thank you so much, everybody, um, for, for being the other half of the equation 
that a tabletop terrors, you know, a, a YouTube channel needs. Um, so yeah, follow me over on PQU if you're curious to see what kind of stuff I can come up with. And um, I guess this is goodbye. I was really afraid. I was really hoping to get through that video before I got that choked up, but it, it, I knew that by the end it would sound like uh, I was uh, uh, reading this uh, message under duress or, or maybe, um, you know, that, that you guys weren't going to see me again for a long time. But no worries. Just, uh, like I said, been thinking about the channel a lot today. And so, um, and I guess that makes this my, my last uh, um, end card ever as well. But just wanted to jump in and not end it on the saddest note, but let everybody know that I have been thinking about you. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for what comes next. I hope you are too.